Shillong, the capital city of Meghalaya, is a land of many talents, from singing, acting, dancing, you name it. In recent years, we have all witnessed these talents grow and bloom to perfection. In today's edition of Youth Program, we have here with us Ms. Anisha Maury, a promising and talented dancer who has more than once enthralled us with her graceful and technical dance moves. So let's go ahead and meet this captivating enigma. Anisha Maori, daughter of Regina Maori and Alfred Kongji, resident of Rinja, Shillong, has been a hard-working young girl in her own way. Her passion in life is dancing. How does she learn dancing? It was self-help with pure dedication. Anisha started her life as a bank employee. Not finding satisfaction to the work, she turns to dancing, which she liked the most. Interestingly, Shillong, the capital city of Meghalaya, is a land of many talents. From singing, acting to dancing, you name it. In recent years, we have seen a lot of these young talents blooming to perfection, making their way to stardom. Anisha Maori, a young talented dancer, has once again showed us the rich talent the young generation has in store for us. A promising and talented dancer has moved more than once and enthralled us with her graceful and energetic dance routine. Actually, I've uh, been growing up in Rinja and I have like a sole passion for dance and choreography and a part of that, apart from that, I even do compose my own poems and I'm very passionate and you can see my kids working out here. Okay. So my sole dedication is for my kids and my dance. The sole person who's really inspired me in dance and the art of dance is actually my mom. So she used to be a dancer back at back then but she's never really focused and they were not much of the opportunity the platform. yeah the platform the opportunity that paved the way so i took it up and move ahead with it so i do have and that's uh, basically urban hip-hop my feel is mainly hip-hop but my mere focus is on urban feel and uh, lyrical contempt i mean lyrical okay. hip-hop anisha started her dancing at a very tender age of just four years old having no one to teach her about dancing Anisha, for pure joy and interest of dancing, taught herself to dance. Her favorite style of dance form is Latino and street style, both lyrical and urban. Anisha believes that dancing is another work of art, working her way to perfection. I have been slotted out and shortlisted for a competition called So You Think You Can Dance India. I was under top 28 
and on the streets I was top 11. Mm -hmm. So that was quite an opportunity where it was my dream and Mumbai mm -hmm. is like, Mumbai is the sea of opportunity. So I was very happy to be there and to meet the stars that I always wanted the choreographer to get trained under them. So it was quite a privilege. The scene in Shillong I have taken into like <coughs> they're mostly these underground battles that we say. Mm -hmm. So they're also stage shows. Mm -hmm. But underground battle, the thing about underground battle is like uh, it's it's impromptu. So you don't mm -hmm. need to prepare it, it's on the spot. Okay. okay. So it's more fun and yeah. it's more challenging. Jump, ready? One, two, jump. I've been in Mumbai and I was uh, also like uh, initiated ahead into an audition. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got trained under Ditto. Mm -hmm. That was just a workshop and also under Ian Eastwood. These are choreographers from LA. So their main uh, focus is popping mm -hmm. and lyrical. The name of the dance school is uh, Phoenix Dance Academy. So Phoenix is because um, actually it's like it's like where you rise from the ashes, so that's the main concept of it. It's like when, when the whole world does not sort of uh, believe in yourself, but you don't fail to believe in you. So that is the main that's motto. It's like we dance for our own spirit. It's like the competition is always with our past, not with anybody else. So that is what that keeps us going ahead. <laughs> In her free time, Anisha loved to compose or write poems. She thought it is to bring to the fore as a requiem of my thoughts. However, moving towards perfection, Anisha spends almost eight hours a day in dancing. Her motto in life can be surely summarized as work more, sleep less. dancing since the age of four so that was like my first uh, platform was in the Rinja week itself I took my first competition when I was a child mm -hmm. and it, it just sort of moved on but in a while I had to focus on my academia so I had to bear less focus on dance and more on the academics but after my post graduation mm -hmm. I got intense into it and just had my head into it <laughs> The dance scene is actually growing so wide. I mean, there's so many 
good dancers, so like also my friends, and they've rep uh, represented uh, India's Got Talent, got into the finals, and some have uh, represented uh, Dance Plus. So they're all friends, so we all collaborate once in a while. It's not like uh, Mumbai because the city there, just like like I said mm -hmm. initially, it's like the sea of opportunity. So like Shillong is a little laid back in that in the artistic form. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, is it because they lack appreciation or is it because they're too blind to see that there are many artists here who can just, fo uh, f um, just focus on what they have? students are also they're actually kids from <coughs> Providence school okay. so I've been like uh, working there like as a social worker uh, under brother D'Souza and he's always been an inspiration always encouraging us and I see that there are a lot of talent but they don't seem to get that opportunity and also I actually teach in their school and they they want to like surpass their their um, basic training, so they're into intermediary course now. So they are like basic intermediary and advanced course that I teach. The breakup of the fees, so it's it all depends. Like there are students who are not fortunate, so few of the students don't even pay the fee. So most of them, I don't take fee. So I just train them because they're good, and I, I feel I feel the spirit, and they really feel for dance. So I teach them free, but people who can pay, they do pay. So the basic fee is one thousand. And there's also, that is for uh, six times a month. And there's this, uh, uh, for four classes, that's 600. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the students are not so privileged, so they don't pay any fees. They just come and practice here. The only financial support is my mum. Okay. So I've not really asked for any support elsewhere. Anisha, while revealing herself to Dudashin, said that her inspiration in dancing is to seek oneself capability and in return share the smile with others. To enable young budding talents to grow, Anisha not only perfected herself, instead gave coaching to children every day once at forenoon and later in the evening. Her vision in life is to bring change to life through healthy lifestyle and dancing. Her aim in life is to make it big in an international platform. Uh, 20 years from now, I see myself adopting these dancey kids that I call them. So I want to like have a school where I can have them all stay with me and I be training them and all that. But apart from that, I also have a wish of a small cafeteria where it would be the theme would revolve around dance. Mm -hmm. So I, I wish that and I would also like to, you know, fight and represent for dancers who sometimes have a disbelief in themselves and their talent. Sometimes the talent doesn't work, but if hard work pays, it sure does pave the way to, to, their, to their goals. The only talent I would have to the people watching us today is, uh, look at them, these kids just don't stop. So it's like the world may like quit on you, but you should never quit on yourself. So the belief should always be there. And you, you know, you should have that inner thirst. If you really want something, you have to like shoot for the sun in order to land among the stars. So that's how I believe.
eye and just be out there in that in that spotlight. So my dream was also to be there. I mean, I'm working hard on it to be like to, to go to LA and to be on that spotlight and to be working or perhaps getting trained under these choreographers. And finally, in Anisha's words, her dream in life is to live the dream and winning the obstacles in life. <laughs>